Hi, my name is Ram, and welcome to Uploading Files with Vue.js and Express. In this episode, we'll make our input field even better by implementing our own drop zone, and also we'll add a very cool upload progress bar in it. Before we begin, just a quick note that if you don't want to wait for another episode to be published, you can go to the gsfullstack.com and purchase the series as pay-what-you-want model as a way to support my work in this channel. Thanks. Before we begin, just a quick disclaimer, we will not do any kind of validations in this particular episode just to keep things simple and to allow us to upload huge files to test out the progress bar. So let's get down to it. Okay, so let's go back to app view component and here just below these columns, let's add our drop zone component. And of course we need to import it. So let's copy this thing here and we'll change it to drop zone. And we need to add it to the components, drop zone. Nice. So let's create one, drop zone dot view. So let's go to simple upload and let's copy and paste it here as well. We're going to use it as, um, as our entry point. So we're going to keep the message here. And in the field, we're going to delete everything that we have here. We do not need it. And we will not need any kind of button because what we want to do is when we drop or select file, we will make the upload right away. So no buttons needed. Cool. So instead of this field, we'll have the drop zone. And inside of this drop zone, we'll use the input field. The type is file. The class is, let's say, input field. That's all that we need to do for now. So basically, we have the drop zone. Inside of this drop zone, invisible but still active, we'll have the input field. And also, we need some kind of a call to action as well and the progress bar that we will change when the uploading will start. So the, for the first one, we'll use, uh, let's say, p tag. And if not uploading, then we want, let's say that's the class call to action. That's our own classes. We're going to define the style in, uh, in a minute. And the, here we just use something like drag your files here. And the second p tag will be available only if uploading is in progress. And the class will be the progress bar. And here later we will define our progress bar. So let's go down here. We have file, we have message, arrow, and we introduce uploading, which is false by default. Let's rename simple upload to drop zone. And also with the select file and all of this jazz, we'll just remove all the validations, all of this stuff. And we'll just have the file on the select. And on the send, all the same no messages, no errors whatsoever. And instead of upload, we'll have the drop zone. So again, only for the purpose of simplicity, we do not do any kind of validation, but you still should do it. And that's a good exercise to have. So now we need to style it. Because right now, if you go back here, you can see that it doesn't look very good. So let's define here this style. It's going to be scoped. So first of all, we need to define the drop zone. The drop zone. So the most important thing, we need to define that it has the mean height of, uh, for example, 200 pixels. And let's say we have the padding of 10 by 10. So just to make some kind of you know, margins or paddings. The position should be relative. The cursor should be pointer. And then we need just to have some kind of you know colors and background color and outline like in, in Dropbox. In drop zones, very often we have some dashed outlines. So let's define outline as the two pixel dashed, let's say gray, and outline offset to be minus 10 pixels. So if we save it, we go back here, and here we go. And another thing that we can add is actually fill it with some kind of background color. So let's add background and that's going to be light cyan and you can choose any kind of color you want and the color for the text will be dim gray 
and here you go nice and you can see that when we hover we have the pointer that's good so now we need to hide this input field and make it so it will be the same size as the Dropbox so for that we'll use the input file that we created before and here pass opacity we set to zero and that makes it invisible but still active then we need to set that sizes so width will be 100% and height will be 200 pixels the same as the mean height for the drop zone the position should be absolute and cursor also just to make sure pointer let's save it go back have a look it doesn't work input file did I have the input file input field okay input file of course and now it's gone but if we click on it you can see that we have the input field that's because we created the width and height the same size so that's kind of a you know CSS trick for you here okay another thing that's when I have I want to make it a little bit more visually active like buttons here so uh, it's easy to do just go the drop zone uh, hover and we set the background color to oops light blue simple change and now when we hover we see the action here and you can go nuts with this add some kind of transitions uh, easing etc so the only thing left is to maybe center this uh, text again I would do it with flag box but to keep it simple we'll just go with the drop zone call to action and we said the font size let's be, uh, make it a little bit bigger one and two rams that's my name and text align gonna be center and let's add padding top basically 50 pixels like this and now we have it so it's not you know in the middle so maybe let's say 70 okay good we have our Dropbox it was easy right okay so now when we choose file or when we drop file here we want to upload it right away then when the uploading starts we display the progress bar and when it's done we render uploaded file name so we get the file name from the server and display it as the list and when the user uploads another one we render it underneath here another one and another one and another one okay so let's do it so first of all let's go back to input here and of course we need to define ref like file and we have type file and on change of course we need to have send file so now we need to have the send file so as you can see here I do not need to have the select file I do not use it anywhere so on change here I send file immediately so we can even delete this select file stuff so here instead of appending to the form data this file we'll define the new file here from this.refs.file.files first element here and we'll just use it here as well after that we are making the post request to the drop zone and that's it so now we need to go to the server uh, so now let's just check it out so I'm just grab one file here drop it and you can see that we're making the request and here in headers we making the request with this file nice so we will implement only for one file but it's a good thing and a good exercise for you to implement it as a multiple files so user can drag and drop multiple files on this drop zone so now we need to go back to our server code so here we'll just copy and paste another route here we call it drop zone but as we do not want to use you know all the validations that we used before let's create new say pure upload and there's gonna be a single file so with JSON we'll have file request file and we're going to define const pure upload equals to multi destination will be the same uploads and that's it so now if we go back and I'll drop file here here we go we have file it has been uploaded nice 
So the next thing is to render the uploaded files and also to have the progress bar. So let's start from the simplest one. If we go back here, we'll add the uploaded files. Uploaded files, it's an empty array. And also let's add progress here as well, just zero. We will use it later. And now when everything's okay, when we make the request, it responds with file data. So let's get let's assign the res response to the res constant. And after successful uploading, we'll do this uploaded files dot push res data file. So we get the file object from the server and push it here on the client. And now we can just, you know, go through it, iterate through it and get the file list. So let's do it. So right after the drop zone here, let's add content div and inside of it we'll have an ordered list and inside of here we'll have the list item. So here we iterate through file in uploaded files. The key will be file dot original name. So original name, not just a simple name. Again, there's the difference between JavaScript API and multi API. So instead of name, multi response with original name. And now inside of it, we'll just have the file dot original name. And that's our list. Let's try it out. And here we go. Build awesome web application PNG. Nice. And the last thing is to display here the progress bar while we upload in the file. And that's also very easy to do, basically. For that, we're going to use the configuration for the access that takes on upload progress. So here in our method, before we make the request here, we'll set this uploading to true. And after we made the request, we do the, this uploading to false. Also here, if something goes wrong, we also need to set uploading to false. So Axios can get the third parameter, which are options. And one of the options is on upload progress. So it's a function that takes event. And here we'll just set that this progress and in event we have loaded and we have total and all we need to do is just to have some math we round this value and we'll have e loaded times 100 and then we divided it by e total like this so now if we go into our template here and uploading let's just display this progress to us so we'll have the progress percent like this so now going back here and let's, I'm just going to upload this movie. And you can see percentage of the uploading is going on here. Nice. And when it's done, we have movie and it's gone. Cool. That's exactly what we want. So the only thing left is to make it prettier, just to have this progress bar. So for that, let's go back here and let's have the progress element here. The class is progress. That's the Bulma class. And let's say is primary for color. And the value is going to be progress. Maximum value is 100%. And that's it. So we enclose this percentage in here and we're done. Okay, let's format the code a little bit better. Good. So let's try the same thing we did before. I'm going to upload this movie. And you can see that it uploads. Cool. But of course we need uh, to add a little bit of styling. And now when it's done, I'm just going to terminal and I'm going to remove everything in my uploads because yes, thank you. So now in the styles here at the bottom, let's add another style for drop zone progress bar. And here I will just add text align center and padding, let's say 70 pixels and 10 pixels on the edges. Let's reload the page. 
and let's upload the file. And now it's much better. How cool is that? Like a grown-ups, we upload in huge files and after we're done, we have the movie right in here. Nice. So great, we implemented our own drop zone. Of course, there are a lot of ready solutions out there. One of them is, for example, view drop zone. But important thing is that now you understand how it works so you can use any kind of implementation in your projects or even make up your own. So in the next episode, we're going to handle image processing. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and if you want to get notified every time when I upload new content, hit the bell icon as well. And if you want to support my work, you can become a patron on the Patreon, or just go to the gsfullstacker.com and purchase one of my series that I publish there. Thank you very much for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.